Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to the Queen of Web Academy. Here we simplify tech for beginners. Today we are diving into something that can completely transform how your website looks. We call it CSS. So what exactly is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It is what makes a boring HTML page look beautiful. Like without CSS, your website is like a body or a a bone without body and with no clothing. But when you add CSS, you are adding body, you are adding style, like the color, layout, font, and so much more. But why is CSS so important? HTML builds the structure, like the bones of your web page. But that CSS gives it the beauty, like the skin, the clothes, and the makeup, everything you can call beauty on a website comes from the CSS. So it helps you change text colors and sizes. It adds background images or colors. It controls the layout and spacing. It creates responsive design for all screen sizes. Like you want your website to be very beautiful on a mobile screen and also on a laptop screen and on a TV screen. So you can see how wide the differences of all these screen sizes are. So for them, for your website to fit in into all these different sizes of screens, then you need responsiveness that comes from the CSS. So in short, CSS makes websites attractive and user-friendly. All right, so there are three ways to add CSS. Let me show you real quick how to add CSS. The very first one is inline CSS. The very first one is inline CSS. Inline CSS, you write it directly inside an HTML tag, but not ideal for a light project anyway. It's very quick, like you quickly want to see something, you quickly want to see how the color will look on your website. You can quickly add it to the HTML tag but it is not ideal for any large project. Let me use this H2 as example. Again, I want to style it. I can just hide an attribute, an attribute of style. Then say I want to declare color. So you write color, colon, then whatever the value of color you want to give it. So let's say I want to give it red. And let's view this on our web page. All right, so you see that our H2 elements just turned into red color. So that is what we call inline styling, the kind of style you put directly inside that HTML tag. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is internal styling. So internal styling still comes inside HTML file, but this case, not inside the tag but inside this head. So that is one of the tags we can put inside the head, not just the title. So now we want to add style. So to add style, you put a style tag. So bring it down and then you, what is the name of that uh, HTML tag you want to style? In this case, let's say I want to style H3. You know, I've used inline styling to style H2. So let me go to H3 now. So then I will say H3, then calibrate, which is curly bracket, and say, okay, I want to give it color. Or this time around, it's not color. Let me give it background color. So I want to give it background color of what? Let me say blue. So immediately, can you see it here? So it has a background color of blue. That is it. So you can do this for any kind of styling at all. So you can give it, and you want to talk about padding, margin, and all of that. We're still going to learn all of this in subsequent videos, inshallah. But we are starting with beginner. Let's start with a baby step. Don't let us rush ourselves, all right? So now let's move to external styling. So external CSS is the best practice. You write all your styles in a separate .css file, and then you link it to your HTML. So let's quickly go here and create a new file. So let's call it style. Remember, it is a file you want to create now, not a folder. 
So style.css. Now you have style.css. The next thing you need to do is to link it to your HTML file. So to link your style to HTML file, you will need the knowledge of your image. You know, when I was teaching you image, I said you can either write, you can either put your image inside the same folder as your HTML file, or you can create a separate folder for all your images. Now, the CSS I just put now, I put it inside the same folder as the index.html. So if that is the case, the tag that we will use to link our, our CSS file to our HTML file is called link. It's called link. And it comes with these uh, inbuilt attributes. You can write them yourself if yours doesn't come with this. So you want to talk, what's the relationship with the style sheet? Then what is the hypertext reference? Then that is where you link it to it. So we just saved it with style.css. But if it is inside a separate folder, I can I will have to call the name of the folder, then slash style.css. All right, this way. So let's go and add some styling. Let's quickly play with some basic CSS properties to style our text and background. Or uh, let's start with the body. We want to give it, we want to give the whole body a kind of background color. So background color of uh, I need the beautiful color. Let's say aquamarine. And then immediately you see that the whole website has this background color. So another thing we can do is give it a font family. Like we want to change the font style. Notice the kind of font style we have here. And by the time we declare the font family, you will see the changes. So let me go for uh, this area a vertical and all of that and immediately you can see that change so another thing we can see is okay let's uh style our h1 just say h1 then colibrace as usual then you enter it so what do you want to do to h1 this time around let's say i want to give it a color or you can just say text align that is one of the popular something we use so center so let's say big we see that this heading comes to the center now so unlike where it was before now it comes to the center and then i can also have something else let me give it a separate color let me give it a color and dark green And then you see it. Uh, what other thing? Let me give it a, another font size. Like I want it to be bigger than what it is right now. Font size of, uh, let's say, 36 pixel. Mm -hmm. It's bigger. I can as well give it a background color. So background color, and let me see that kind of background color that will make the color to be visible, beach. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So another thing is we can also style our paragraph. All the tags you have on inside your HTML file can be styled. Or if you have class name, there's something we call class name, IDs, and all of that. You can style them. You are still going to learn a lot. May Allah spare our lives upon goodness. Let me give it a padding of, let's say, 10 pixel. So that way, it's going to have some space here and here. Can you see our paragraph very well? So before it started from where everything is starting from. So this is a box model. So we use paragraph, margin, all of that to uh, border, all of that. We use them to declare, to make a kind of box model. We are still going to learn all that to be easy in life. So I can as well give the padding to our H1 to make our website look very fine. Let me give it like 10 pixels. And then let me make it big. Can you see that? So it's already looking very beautiful. You can see how simple lines of CSS code just change the whole vibe of the web page. Huh? Now it is your turn. Open your code editor or tribe edit on mobile phone and try this. The first thing I want you to try and submit in the support group or let me know if you have done it in the comment section here is that change your heading color to purple 
change your heading color to purple. Let's say your H1, change it to purple. Make the font size 40 pixel. Set the background of your body, of the whole project body, to a soft yellow. Then use your favorite Google font, any font you like. You can as well add padding, play around, and try to know what margin is all about too. The spelling of the margin is M-A-R-G-I-N. So try with all of that and see how beautiful it's going to be. Okay, pause this video and try it out. Don't just watch. Do it, my dear. CSS is your magic wand to create beautiful, professional-looking website. And this is just the beginning. There are a lot much more to learn. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more simple web lessons, and drop a comment. What CSS property do you want to learn next? Until next time, keep building, keep learning. You were born to create, baby. Naam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.